Hey everyone, welcome to Pepibo's tutorial series. I am Vikram and in this video I will be talking about how you can install Postfix on CentOS 7. So before getting started, I would recommend to check the link in the description where you can find this tutorial. What is Postfix? Postfix is an open source mail transfer agent which is used to send email from one server to another server. It is an alternative to send mail uh, which used to come uh, in all the previous version of REHL 5. Currently, a Postfix comes pre-installed in all the Linux machines. Whereas, uh, if you need to find out what is the actual definition of Postfix, so we have our uh, we have Wikipedia de definition of Postfix, so I can read it for you all. So Postfix is a free and open source mail transfer agent that routes and deliver electronic mail. It is released under IBM Public License 1.0, which is free software license. Uh, alternatively, alternatively, starting with version 3.2.5, it is available under Eclipse Public License 2.0 under Users option. The main job of Postfix is to transfer email from one server to another server. It may be locally or uh, you might use some third party tool to just relay your mails to that particular third party tool and uh, rest is on the third party to uh, transfer that mail to destination server. Before getting started uh, with the installation, you just need to check whether send mail is installed in your machine or not. If send mail is installed, the first step is to remove that send mail RPM or something. So you just need to check uh, rpm-qa pipe grep send mail. So it will give you whether your send mail is installed or not. You can check out through a uh, service send mail status uh, that will also be fine for checking the status of whether send, send mail is installed on your Linux or not. If uh, you didn't go, get any output, then uh, you are free to go on step two. If you get uh, this below output, then you need to remove that is sudo yum remove send mail star. So it will remove all the dependencies and all stuff uh, related to send mail. And once send mail is removed, uh, you can install Postfix. So installing Postfix is pretty much simple that you can find on each and every repository of Linux, whether it's an Ubuntu or, or CentOS or Fedora. So for uh, now we are considering uh, CentOS. So we will go with uh, yum install Postfix. So once you uh, hit this command, yum install Postfix on uh, the terminal, it will install automatically all the dependency related to Postfix. Now we need to configure our Postfix according to uh, according to us so that we can uh, use our SMTP host username and password to send emails. So the main file of Postfix is main.cf where you can easily locate to etc postfix main.cf file. And I have written a uh, line numbers so you can uh, directly switch on to that particular line uh, you may be using some editor vim or nano so just need to change or uh, unhash this my hostname smtp.example.local to your hostname that may be smtp.pepibos.com maybe or uh, it can be smtp.gmail.com and similarly uncomment this domain that may be your domain may be gmail or uh, not gmail but uh, it can be anything xyz.com similarly this domain part is a variable and it is linked to my origin so once you uncomment uh, once you change my domain you can uncomment this line on maybe 99 number and similarly all those uncomment and edit line uh, 119 make it i internet protocol equal to all commit at line number 164 at my destination so this will be used for sending a local to the local host and the below you can uh, you can add a range of ips in your network uncomment this uh, home mailbox where mail directory is there so mail directory you can either uh, by default it is there or you can give a custom if you have or if you need to give a custom just save and exit it file and uh, check restart your postfix 
that is uh, first of all enable your postfix using this command system enable postfix and then just uh, simply hit this uh, system ctl restart postfix command so it will restart the postfix daemon for us and once it is uh, properly restarted or uh, it is getting uh, if you have reloaded so you can just simply hit service postfix status or system CTL status postfix so it will give the actual status running in the current uh, real time you can say so once it is loaded and active you can be you can see this output accordingly so let's test our postfix server whether it is uh, capable of sending email or not so we need to add a username postfix tester or a password postfix tester i have added you can add anything so after getting after adding this uh, user and password i will be sending an email using telnet so telnet is a uh, used for uh, maybe checking uh, whether your port is open or not and you can uh, simply uh, send an email using telnet so telnet localhost smtp once you have successfully done with the configuration you get the following output so for example telnet localhost smtp so yeah it's trying and it's got uh, it got connected to my local so we, after connecting you just need to hit this command so you, this will be the output where you will be getting the connection to the local postfix once 250 dsn uh, prompt or status code has came then you are ready to send an email so i have written a successful test case and a failure test case over here successful test case is somewhat uh, the postfix has uh, no complaint about your setup or your config file you can directly write mail from uh, your username and recipient uh, to and data is something the mail body and uh, once you are complete with your mail body just you need to trigger a dot where it will complete the mail body and that's it uh, you will be using quick to close the connection and everything is fine this is a successful test case you will be triggering out if there is some issue with the configuration or uh, the postfix uh, user or uh, password is incorrect or the user that we have made that is postfix tester is incorrect then uh, this is the failure you can find out that maybe your domain or your postfix is not accepting a mail from that particular user so this usually occur when uh, your domain is not mapped with your servers for example let's suppose uh, your domain is xyz.com and your server name is uh, is not having that domain mapped that is your ip is not mapped with your uh, domain so this is the usual case you will be getting now uh, if you have successfully sent your mail then you can check out to your uh, home directory of uh, your sorry mail directory or any custom uh, mail directory that you have configured so i have configured mail directory in that uh, there is a folder new and in that i have got this output once i cat this there will be an actual mail so this is the actual mail that uh, triggers out whenever when i hit that telnet command so that's it guy uh, that that's all uh, i need to find out uh, so if you if you have any issue uh, that is not there in this tutorial feel free to comment in the section uh, thanks for watching and see you soon again